Hello everyone, today we will be learning how to do a 360 view render in Poser, and it's quite simple. All right, we have a default file open in Poser, you know, default setting. We have our little figure here in the center. I'm gonna keep this scene as simple as possible, so I'm gonna be rendering out this figure here. All right, and the way to do this is you wanna animate your camera. So right now we're in chess mode. We wanna go over here at the top of our screen and click on our main camera here. And so it should list main camera up here at the top of the menu bar and under it, it should say parameters. And under parameters, you have other focal perspective, focal distance, f-stop. We don't really care too much about that right now. What we wanna worry about is our transformation here. In our default scene, my figure is kind of zoomed out, so I'm going to kind of dolly in just a bit. So on my dolly z-axis, I'm going to go ahead and type in 9 and bring that figure closer to the camera view. If we come down to the bottom, we have our y orbit. And if you look at it, it should go from left to right. That's the axis we're going to be animating on for the camera. I'm going to go ahead and set that back to zero. I'm going to come down here to my timeline and you'll notice my frames. We only have 30 frames set right now. I'm going to change that to 75. If you come here on your timeline and scrub, you'll notice there's no animation set right now. In order to set or create animation, you need to set keyframes. If you come over here where my mouse is hovering over up under, the viewport, you'll see this giant key. And if you click on it, you'll set a keyframe. Make sure before you click on it, you want to make sure our timeline is set at one, the first frame. So it is, so I'm going to click on my keyframe. And this is basically our animation box, and it shows the keyframe set, and it shows what's being animated. If you notice, my main camera is highlighted. I'm going to close that out because we're this is simple. We're going to keep it simple. All right, so we've set our first keyframe at frame one. We want this figure to be 360, so I'm going to come back over here to my Y orbit. I'm going to change my camera degrees. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to scroll all the way to the end of my timeline. And I'm going to make sure it's set at seven, the frame 75. I want this figure to do a full 360. So I'm going to come back over here to my Y orbit and change that 0 degrees to 360. Now you notice nothing's changed, but actually I'm at my last keyframe. If you scroll back, you'll notice that we've set a 360 orbit around the entire figure. Okay, great. Now we have a 360 view. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and render this out as a video. And the way we render out animation is, is you're going to go up here to the top where it says animation, where my mouse is highlighted. You're going to click on animation, make a movie, or click on make a movie, or control J. So I'm going to click on make a movie, and a box pops up. And we have two tabs here, movie settings and render settings. Render settings, we're not worried about this. This is simple. This is That's more comp complex. We're just going to go ahead and render this out under movie settings. So click on movie settings tab. And you're going to come here in our format. We're going to click on our format, image files, and choose MP4, which is the standard for web. And we're not going to worry too much about our options and anti-alias. We're going to come over here to our time span, which is important. We want our start frame to be at 1 and it to end at 75. So we're going to render out our entire frame sequence. If you come down here to increments, we want all frames set. But if you come down here, it's our frame rate, and you can choose our frame rate. I'm choosing 30 frames per second um, just because it's smoother. It's the flow that I want to get. I'm going to come back over here and click keep all frames. So I'm going to keep all these settings the same. If you come down here to quality, just because I want a high quality render, I'm just going to go from 70 
to 100. You can keep it at 70. That's just your choice. I'm going to go to 100. And I'm going come to come down here to the bottom of the box. And I'm going to click on Make a Movie. Now, this pulls up where you want to save your file. And you can choose wherever destination you want to. I'm just going to save it in my documents. I'm going to call it Poser Viewer View 360. And I'm going to click Save. Now, as I saved it, it automatically goes into rendering that film out. And if you notice, it says writing movie and it starts frame one and it renders all the way up to frame 75. And that's it.